This is the WBA Pan-African lightweight title fight. We have the champion Ayanda Nkosi against the challenger Stephen Bagwazi. First of all, we'll start with the challenger. You are fighting Ayanda. How did you see him before coming into this fight? Um, <coughs> Ayanda, I've studied him. He has long reach, very slow, which is my advantage. So tomorrow I'll be working on that. Do you agree with the statements that he said that you that you slow? Yes, I agree. Yes, I am slow and he's fast, but I'll take him. What what advantages apart from him just being slow can you can you take can that makes you feel like you're that you can become the champion? Um, I mean, the the advantage for me is that uh, I work very hard in the in the in the ring, so I don't just sit there and then wait for my opponents to punch me. So. I punch him and make them miss, which is, I'm very good at that. What do you see in his game that you think, you know what, I can take this guy apart? Um, um, Steven, he's fast, he's faster than me. Uh, the only thing that uh, um, I'll have to do is, is, to, is to use my long, my long reach. He's coming from abroad, he's coming from, um, sorry, he's coming from the, a neighboring province uh, from Botswana. Botswana. Your national pride, is it on the line here? Yeah. Yeah, um, I think all the supporters are, are with me, but um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not focusing on them. You're coming into South Africa. Do you feel the pressure fighting in his home country? Nah, not at all, because it's not my first, first time fighting the host. I've been fighting the host my whole career, so I don't have any pressure. You said on, and I saw some Facebook comments saying that Ayanda's holding your belt. Yes, of course he is. He is. <laughs> Talk more about that. <laughs> Um, like, actually, he's been doing a very good job defending his title, so I think now it's time for the title to change hands. So I think this is the last night he holds that title. Ayanda, do you think that Stephen's ready for you? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I think um, I'm defending my title for the last time. Then next year I'll fight for um, international, WPA international. Do you see that is him overlooking you? He's already looking at the international title. This is the Pan-African title. Do you think he's overlooking you by saying he wants to fight for the international title? This is his last defense of his Pan-African title. Um, I've been there. My opponents have been looking down on me, so on the ring I've always put them wrong. That I'm not the person they, think they thought I was. So tomorrow I'll be doing the same thing. Ayanda is extremely fit. Do you think you're going to be in for the full 12 rounds? Of course, I've been preparing myself for that. Everything is, is good on me. Where do you where, where do you rank, Stephen, in terms of the previous opponents that you faced? How uh, do I? Where do you where do you rate him? Does he does he rate as one of the best opponents you're going to be facing in your career? Uh, no, no. No. Yes. Would you where, where would you where would you put him? Um. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, like um. I, I don't know what to say, but yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You, is he in for a surprise tomorrow? Of course, he is. And one other thing, I've never lost to a taller guy to me. Amateurs as well? Even an amateur, never in my life, in my career. So this won't be the first. What have you got to say about that, Ian? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> I have a loss, I have a one loss. And I take it as I take it as a um, as a, um, <coughs> a virus. So I'll I'll put it to him. A virus. <laughs> I'll give him a loss. You laughing at that? Why? Yeah. Because I don't agree with what you said. <laughs> Do you think he's done enough research on you? I don't think so. I don't think so because he doesn't know what I'm capable of. He only knows that I'm faster than him. That's it. Lastly, guys, I want you to send him a message as a challenger first, and then I want you to reply to him. Before fight night, what have you guys got to say to each other? I want to say good luck to you for tomorrow and keep that title goodbye because I'm coming for it tomorrow. Well, um, thank you. But after this fight, you'll have to change the division. <laughs> I think uh, Juno Light is suitable for you. And then lastly, guys, just a handshake. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much.